In this lesson, I'd like to discuss the structures of something called the acetabulum. So the acetabulum is one of the major articulations in the body where we will find the head of the femur fitting. So the acetabulum. Now, acetabulum is literally Latin for um, bowl of vinegar. So it looks kind of like a little bowl. Um, so when I think about it, uh, this structure to me, when we look at it, superficially kind of looks like a toilet seat. So we'll use some of this to us here as um, some visualizations for us to think about. And of course, um, sitting in the acetabulum, we do have three distinctive bones, the, the ischium, the ilium, and the pubic bone. So uh, we'll see that the first part here of the acetabulum is made up of the ischium or ischium. So I'm going to write it in here just a little bit so we can see, um, see that. And then we'll come in and I'll just pick uh, the ilium in here and I will give another um, line here and we'll have the ilium or the ilium and then lastly I'll come in and depict the last bone here the pubis or the pubic bone pubis slash pubic bone and these three bones do make up uh, the structures of the acetabulum. Now, since we have ourselves oriented in that way, I'm going to clear these off, and we're going to draw some other structures in here. So using red, I'm going to draw, we'll come off the lip here, the bottom part of the acetabulum, and I'm going to move upwards and around this. And I'm going to draw this um, connective tissue that gives us excess um, surface area and depth to the acetabulum and since I can't color it in all so well over here it does go from the outside of that line all the way to the bottom and this is called the acetabular labrum so we've drawn this in class ourselves already now, if we think about this, kind of think about that stuff that may hang off the toilet seat here, give a service area to it, some protective stuff. Now, we might want to stretch some more protective material, so we'll go across the front here, and we're going to take a ligament across the front of the acetabulum here, and I am going to color it in as well as I can here uh, to distinguish this structure. And this is our transverse ligament. One of the ligaments that you are required, one of the structures of the acetabulum that at least I require you to know is Anatomy and Physiology 1 students um, in the articulations chapter. So this is our uh, transverse ligament, also known as the transverse acetabular ligament. And I'll abbreviate it LIG for short, LIG period, the, trans, uh, the transverse ligament of the acetabulum. So the acetabular labrum and the transverse ligament. Now, um, as anything else we really want to discuss, uh, discuss here, um, since we are kind of using this as an idea of, uh, of a toilet seat, we do want to fill it up with some crud here. Uh, I'll be able to think of it as crud. Very important stuff. We'll put this adipose tissue in here. And let me uh, show this chunky kind of adipose looking tissue. This is our fat pads that do sit inside, uh, a fat pad that will sit inside of the... Uh, uh, of the acetabular fossa. So there are lots of fat pads that sit there, so I'm just going to associate that we have our fat pad here, and there are fat pads that associate um, elsewhere. And then the last structure I wanted to pick, I'm going to come off from just under here, and I'm going to draw it upwards, and we'll cut him off here, and come back down. And at least let me give it a little bit of some lines here. But this is a ligament, an important ligament. Um, that's coming out from underneath uh, these structures. Um, coloring it a little bit more so we can make it more prominent. And uh, there's a few names given to it. And I commonly just simply will refer to this most of the time in class to you guys as what is simply known as the ligamentum teres or the smooth ligament. Sometimes you will see it called the ligamentum capitis or ligamentum capitis. 
uh, femoris because this is the ligament that will basically hold. Um, it will attach itself to the head of the femur at the fovea capitis. And so that's why it's there. It's this ligamentum capitis or ligamentum teres of the acetabulum will go there. So we do sketch out a lot of this anatomy ourselves to understand what is going on here. And uh, this really does it for all the anatomy you need to know of the uh, what's going on inside the acetabulum. There will be a few other things you'll see on the hip joint. But this concludes my video on the hip joint. Thank you, on the acetabulum, and uh, we'll take other looks at hip joint anatomy, uh, some of the primary ligaments that we'll see both anteriorly and posteriorly, and then uh, you can take that along with especially the videos you'll see on the knee joint, uh, and those will be the biggest ones that you'll be able to see with articulation videos here in the near future. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.